instead of throwing away your dog leashes, keep the clips from them so you can reuse them for another one. My wife and I met while rock climbing, so we have tons of dynamic climbing rope floating around and decided to use a couple sections for our leash. The dynamic rope stretches with your pet's movement and it's easy to thread once you trim the edges and slide it through your reused clip. Start by holding it in your hand like a shopping bag or handbag. Hold the long end of the rope in your left hand and at the other end, the short spot above the clip, use your right hand and make a counterclockwise loop. Hold onto the loop with your left hand and take the short end of the rope and push it upwards through the bottom of the loop. Now take the short end from the top of your loop and push it underneath the long end. Take the short end from the bottom, go around the top of the long end, and then back into the counterclockwise loop that you started. Snug things up by tightening the loops and pulling on the long and short end. I used a candle to melt the ends and make sure it wouldn't fray. I used some little zip ties to make sure the short end stuck to the long end and then trim the zip ties. You can get fancy with other lashing if you have small cordelette. So that was a bow and knot. I used to tie up boats and also to climb on lead from time to time. If you want nautical or marine themed instructions, I would suggest watching Roy Scheider do it in Jaws. Pretty exciting stuff. I made a figure eight on a bite before trimming my rope to use as the hand side. Make a tall thin loop in your left hand, maybe a foot tall. Coil the loop on top of itself clockwise. Pull the tip of that loop now through the bottom of the coil. It'll look a little unkempt at first, so you just have to move the coils around to get it to look prettier like this.